Hey, good evening. I'm Dan Fitzpatrick here at StockMarketMentor.com and it's Wednesday, July 16th. And in this video, I want to look at um, Time Warner. Um, turns out that uh, 20th Century um, had a, uh, a takeover offer and uh, for Time Warner. Sorry, I'm kind of fumbling this. And Time Warner didn't want it. I think they probably left Rupert Murdoch on um, hold as long as their customer service um, leaves me on hold when I'm trying to fix my cable box. But then I digress. Anyway, um, so the stock gaps up and then it stays there. And you're thinking, well, why does it do that when they rejected a takeover offer that we didn't really kind of know about? And the reason that it did this is because now the market's thinking, well, maybe Murdoch's going to bump his offer up. He did, the guy doesn't really let go too easily. And so what are you going to do with this stock? Well, first of all, let's look at it just on the intraday action. You know, a lot of times you will see when a stock gaps up this much, you know, say on earnings or something like that, um, most of the time that thing is going to reverse, at least to some extent, at least giving you some kind of a trade um, to the downside. But here, you know, the stock really, you know, it opened or it traded as low as a little bit below um, 82 bucks and then rallied higher. And all of this happened really during the first, you know, half an hour or so of the market. And then after that, the stock just been, you know, churning around on very, very light volume. So why am I going into this? I'm going into this because now you've got a new support level here for this stock and that's 81.42. That's the intraday low. Why does that matter? Well, because you can, t you can be long the stock and anticipate that Murdoch's going to make another offer. Um, you can buy it now and keep your stop, say, right around 81.35, something like that. Um, so why would you do that? Well, look at the weekly chart. Okay, if, if we didn't know exactly why this stock took off, I mean, this would be a bona fide breakout and we'd be looking for 100 bucks on this just simply as a function of how long this stock had been trading sideways. Um, you look at the volume, it's huge. So this was a big, big power move, as it turns out. We know why the stock did that and we know that the market thinks that Murdoch may make another bid. Um, so what would I do? If you, want, if you want to be long the stock, again, go ahead and get long. Just keep a pretty tight stop on it because, and here's the other thing, this is a riskier trade than you might think. Because what happens if between the hours of 4 p.m. and 9.30 a.m. the next day, Murdoch comes out and says, you know what, forget you guys. I don't really want you after all. That was my final offer. Boom. That thing drops like a rock. So anyway, um, that is my trade analysis on Time Warner. Um, hope it works for you. Members, um, get over to the strategy session. We've actually, I want to look at some energy names and a few other, um, a few other stocks that are actually working really well now.